Hey gun people! Alright, so this uh, seals on the uh, Remington 1100. If you have a Remington 1100, you know this little O-ring uh, goes around the barrel and I'll slide in some pictures and then I'll, I'll pull apart a little I'll pull apart my gun and point it out. But this O-ring is the number one probably failure for an 1100 Remington. And the one they give you and the one you buy is like I don't know, a buck, anywhere from two to three bucks each to buy one of these things. Um, now, there's a place in Dallas, and you can order online from them. Uh, it's called H&D Distributors. And their information is right there. And I went up there and I brought my old O-ring, because I called Remington. And I said, hey, what's the specs on your O-ring? And for some reason, they don't freaking know. I mean, I, I don't know if they just stuck some washer in there and said, okay, this works or what. But I said, well, what's the pressures on it? And they said, well, the pressure rating is 12,500 uh, PSI. So if this is a 12,500, I said, what's the heat that it has to take? They go, oh, we don't know. I'm like, you freaking make the gun, you put an O-ring, you have a factory replace it, and you don't know? So I wasn't impressed with Remington at all. Um, so I went to the O-ring shop, and a rubber O-ring, and I had no idea that O-rings were so damn complicated. It's like everything. You think an O-ring's a freaking piece of rubber, and it's not. So, you know, there's some with connectors, there's some that's not. There's certain kind of rubbers. There's some that are solvent-resistant, whatever. So the one they give you, of course, is the cheapest one. And you notice it's kind of flexible there, and you can kind of twist it okay this is a the white one is a what's called a tw a Teflon washer and it's a little stiffer it doesn't um it tends to hold its value so if I stretch this out I, I it won't maintain it won't come back like this one I can stretch out and it'll come back this this Teflon's pretty stiff so I put one of these in my gun because I think this is gonna work the good thing about Teflon, and if you notice on the price, the Teflon's like four buck, four fifty each. These are like it says two dollars because they were the seventy or ninety versus the other one. But you can order these, I think, for ninety cents each from H and D distributors, and you need a ten dollar minimum charge. So you'd have to order ten of them, and you'd never have to buy another one. But these. These are what's called a uh, Viton O-ring, and the size you want to remember is, I believe it's 022, 022, 022, I guess, gives the dimensions of this, and I think the dimensions, it's one inch circle, and I think it's one and one sixteenth here, and then one sixteenth, whatever, uh, so what I did is I got two Teflons and I got two Vitons. Now Viton is a much better seal than rubber. It lasts longer. Uh, oil, it's more oil and solvent resistance. It doesn't rot. It's a higher heat rating. I want to say this is maybe a 400 degree heat rating and this one may be 450. But uh, you really go up in price on the Teflon. But if the Teflon works, it's a far superior O-ring and um, everything I've read and everything that people that work with them and know about it Teflon's the way to go this thing isn't going to degrade crack or break on you and take down your shotgun uh, this one is a little bit more flexible this is a little bit closer to the original uh, the Viton I bought a couple of these I think I have three or four 1100 so I, I, I needed some extras this is my one I pulled out, it's kind of stiff and hard. Um, somebody's going to be making a comment about that. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you can tell which one you think is uh, is new or better, or can you tell? The one on the right is the used one. The one on the left is the new one. So, is there a difference? Can you tell? I don't know. Pick that light up and put it right on there. I can try to zoom in on them. 
No, I don't know how good this zoom's going to be. Yeah, it won't, it won't get too zoomy. Um, and I don't think I have a magnifying glass handy here. Maybe I can zoom it through here. Let's see what this looks like. Does that matter? Does that help or make it worse? Alright. So, anyway. Um, that's what the O-ring situation is. I, uh, I can just tell this is hard and kind of getting hard. And that's normally what happens. They get hard. They have little ridges on it. I can feel it. And they end up breaking. And if this breaks or I cut this, this O-ring doesn't work. Because it doesn't trap the gas like it's supposed to. So let me show you the shotgun, and then I'm going to go out and shoot the shotgun that I have with the Teflon ring in it. And if it functions correctly, and there's no problems in feeding, that's what I'm going to use, uh, these Teflons. Okay, so let's get to uh, pulling this little 1100 here apart. So basically to get to the O-ring, there's plenty of videos out there. Take your end cap off. Once it comes off, Slide this off. Your O-ring sits right inside here, underneath your uh, little gas tubes. In order to get the barrel off, I normally lock my bolt to the rear. You can pop it off, but normally I lock it. And if you take the barrel off, there's the O-ring right there. So the O-ring sits in a little groove right here. And then I'll lock my bolt to the rear. I'll slide the two gas tubes back and then this o-ring fits right in there and where this sets I'll grab this little light here see if I can get this in the camera because I know everybody's always complaining about my light so that o-ring sets see those two little uh, two little holes there that's the gas that goes from the barrel when you shoot, goes in, and that O-ring sets right in there. So, let me go out and shoot the sucker. And um, So that's the Teflon. If you want to get the Viton, you can. Um, and let's go see if this sucker works. There you go, people. Going to test this uh, 1100 out. Remember, on the 1100, you can't load rounds if your trigger is pulled. So if you pull the trigger and you try to put rounds in here, it won't go. So I'm going to stick a couple rounds in here. It won't go in because the hammer. Pull the bolt back. Let it go forward. Now they go in fine. All right, so I want to make sure I just put that Teflon thing in there, and I want to make sure this works. So let's see how it functions. I guess I got to put a round chamber. I was like, that's kind of odd. <laughs> All right, let's see how it works. Looks pretty good. I did not see any problems. That's what the Teflon O-ring that's going to last probably forever and I don't have to worry about it breaking. So let me try to uh, shoot a few more. And this is low, they call low brass. So if it functions on this, it's going to function on the uh,
I'm thinking that O-ring Teflon worked pretty good. I'll pull this off real quick. See what it looks like. Ow. Barrel gets a little hot. Woo! Ow! Woo! There's that white O-ring right there. Gets a little powder on it. I don't see any problems with it. So, uh, I'll put a little slide in on exact. I'm pretty sure it's 022 is the size. If you want to order some of these, sell them to your buddies, have a couple extras. As you can tell, work pretty damn good. Uh, I need my all pro glove protector. <laughs> Freaking idiot. And we'll put a couple more rounds to make sure. as an AR. Can't beat these 1100s. Good guns. Got that Teflon O-ring. Hopefully I won't ever have to replace that again. Have a couple backups. If there's one thing you want to have with the 1100, there's a couple O-ring backups. Alright, they'll be hard to find uh, if things ever go bad. Now I gotta pick up all those shells. <laughs> Alright, well in that there, 